Hello everybody, Ben the Pat Tester here. Cater and Pat Testing is the channel. Excuse the state of my desk over there, but it's Admin Friday, catching up with all my reports from the week. Um, I'm going to do a video today on how to replace a battery in the Seawood Apollo Pat Testers. Um, it's probably something you will all have to do uh, at some point. There's no real need to send it off to a um, Seawood or any other company to do it. It's very simple to do it yourselves um, and I'm going to explain how to do that in a moment. If I could just ask each and every one of you that watches this video, if you haven't done so already, please could you subscribe to my channel just by clicking the subscribe video under this um, viewing window that you're watching uh, today on. Um, about 85% of my viewers don't actually subscribe to my channel. I've got about 840 subscribers already. Uh, I would love to get up to a thousand. Um, purely that just helps this channel more than you can possibly imagine get this videos out to as many people as uh, I possibly can I don't earn any money from these videos and even if I did it would um, be pennies most probably but I just do it for helping you guys and girls out with pat testing and um, you know I get lots of messages from you all and emails asking advice and saying thank you for the videos so it's re really do appreciate that um, if you could just return Turn the favour. Um, uh, it'd be absolutely great if you could just subscribe to my channel. So that's enough about that. So we're going to look at changing the batteries. Now um, there's two different ways of, of doing it and there's two different types of battery depending on what type of Seawood Apollo machine you have. I've got here just a bog standard Seawood Apollo 400 and there are the 500 and the 600 which are the older models that you could get probably four five six years ago and then there's the plus models um, on here now even if you've upgraded an older non plus model to the plus firmware um, this is purely about the hardware so if, if you've got a an old 400 machine that's not a plus or a 500 then um, it's slightly different and I'll, and I'll tell you how but to get into the battery compartment it's just a single crosshead screw on the bottom so you just undo that they can be a little bit um, sticky to get out you might just have to put your screwdriver in under there just to gently uh, lever it out um, it's always a good opportunity just to just to give it all a clean around here with dust and then we can stop any dust getting into your uh, electronics inside. Okay, and then the way the batteries come out on both machines, that this the newer ones have got a little fancy uh, tag on the batteries, um, but they you can just put your put your finger in there uh, and pull the battery out gently. Just one thing to remember as well: make sure the machines are turned off and not plugged into the mains at this point as well. Fairly common sense, but just uh, worth checking with you. Um, so these are the batteries. Now, on the uh, older models, so the 4, 5 and 600 non-plus models, you will see that the batteries here plug straight into the battery port on the PCB down there, and they've got a white connector. Okay, that's important to remember. On the plus ranges, so the 4, 5 and 600 plus ranges, we'll pop the battery out of this one you will see there that there is still a connector that goes into the battery port but what they've done is they've upgraded it so you, now you get this little black connector here um, so the battery disconnects there it's probably so because you haven't got to then undo this wiring loom uh, from the PCB so it's probably to um, um, probably just to you know, minimize damage um, you know save you poking your fingers around in there or dropping any little bits or a bit of dust or whatever gets in there um, so it's important to remember when you're ordering your battery if you've got the plus models you order it with the uh, black connector if you're ordering the non plus models then you're ordering the battery with the white connector um, you can just check on your machines just open the battery compartment up on your machines um, before you replace just to check what type of connector um, that you have um, with the plus models because they've now put this connector on when you put your battery in as I'll do there you need to be very careful when you put this connector in it kind of wedges in the end there but you just need to be careful that you don't pinch any of the cables or, or damage them and then when you put your cover on you just need to make sure that you don't pinch any of the cables with the cover 
therefore damaging your brand new battery. Um, so these new batteries, I think you can get them for about 60 quid, something around there. Sometimes you get special offers on them, um, and then you might get one for 50 or 55, but around the 60 quid mark. And for the amount of tests that you get from them, on average on a new battery, if you're doing an average amount of pack tests in a day, I normally get about 200 tests before I need to recharge this older battery now. Um, I'll only get about 120 um test on them um which is still not bad if you're doing a small amount of tests but i i tend to upgrade the battery um once every year and then i just keep one as a spare as well um it, it's annoying with these apollos that the the battery indicators on the actual screens are terrible so they don't actually give you a percentage or a you know a rough idea of how much battery you've got they tend to go from full green half green and then they'll before you know it they're on red um so that'd be good you know if anyone's listening from seawood in uh in in the future it'd be good if you could do some sort of upgrade or something like a mobile phone so it gives you a rough percentage so it gives you a better idea of test there must be some way of doing it i'm sure so i hope this uh, video helps you out in terms of changing a battery please 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 do subscribe to the channel and like these videos and don't forget to comment with any questions or give me any ideas of videos for next time thanks for watching see you later